Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in the Accenture hiring that happened on 1st April 2022. Guys, this is the fourth coding question that I am discussing. Today also I posted some videos and yesterday also I posted some videos. So this is the fourth question or you can say the fourth video for the Accenture hiring. So guys, make sure that if you have not watched the previous videos, then I will give you the link of this playlist in the description box. You can see here the first three videos are of the first question, second question and third question. And this is the video for the fourth question. So all these videos you can find under this playlist. So guys, make sure to watch this video, uh, watch this playlist after watching this video. And guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it because I am posting regular content of the different companies which are hiring as well as the questions we're getting asked in them. And in Accenture also, in next week, many interviews will be starting. So I will be posting interview experiences also for Accenture. So kindly hit that subscribe button and share this channel among your friends. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, in this video, also the approach will be same. First, I will be discussing the question. Then I will be telling you how to approach that question. And in the later part of the video, I will be telling you how to write the code for the same. So guys, this question is Reminder Mod 11. So many of you have requested me over Telegram and in the comment section also that I should make the video on this particular question. So guys, make sure that do not skip any part of this video and watch this video till the end. So the question here is, we are given a string of maximum length 1000 representing a large number. Output its Reminder Modulo 11. So we will be given a large number and we will just have to output what will happen that when we will divide that number uh, with 11 then what will be the remainder of uh, remainder remaining so let's just see with the help of example so 121 so 121 when we will divide by 11 there will be no remainder remaining so there will be zero remainder because 11 into 11 is 121 so there will be no remainder remaining so therefore we have written zero now next is uh, the uh, number 1 3 4 and 5 so when we will dividing it by 11 so it will get uh, it will be divided by 1 then 2 uh, then 2 again so when we will do 122 uh, into 11 then we will get 1 3 4 2 i guess and then the remainder that will be remaining will be 3 i am sorry so remainder remaining will be 3 so this is our output so what do we do we are given a very large number in the form of a string now we have to divide this number by 11 and we have to output the remainder that will be remainder remaining when we'll divide the current number by 11. So now I hope the question is clear to you. Now let's just see how we'll approach this question. Okay, so guys for understanding the approach, we must know the basic mathematics that we have studied in our 6th or 7th class where we know that this is, a, uh, this is how we divide a number. So here you can see this is a dividend. 11 is a divisor by which we are dividing and the uh, factor, uh, factor that comes out to be is a quotient and the last thing that is remaining is the remainder. So I hope you know all these things and now what we'll do, we'll simply apply this particular logic of dividing a number in maths in our code. So, Okay, so how we will do it? So first of all, uh, we will start dividing base by basics that we are used to do in maths. So first of all, we take the first number that is 1. Now we see that this one is less than 11. So it cannot be divided by 11 further. So it means that this becomes a remainder till till here. So till here, till this line, till this line, 1 becomes the remainder. Okay. So now one, we know that 1 is smaller than 11. It cannot be further divided. So what we do uh, in general mass, we, uh, we call the second number after it. We call the next number after it. Now our current number becomes 13. So what we'll do, we know that the 13 can be divided by 11. So now we will simply divide it by 11. We will simply write 11. 11 ones are 11. 1 goes here. 11 ones are 11. We will simply subtract from here. And now 2, 2 is the remainder here. So till now what we have done. Till now we know that till this point we have followed the basic mathematics rule. And till this point, till this point 2 is our remainder. Now what we do. We will take this remainder. And now we will be calling the next number because we know that 2 is less than 11 so 2 cannot be divided by 11 so now 2 is a remainder and now with this remainder what we do we call the next number that is 4 here so it becomes 24 now we know that 24 can be divided by 11 so what we'll do we'll simply do 24 minus 22 so that is 11 2 is a 22 so here again it comes 2 as a remainder so 2 as a remainder it comes 
now we know that this two as a remainder is still point is still here one uh, when we take 134 the two will be remaining uh, remainder when we are trying to divide by 11 so now again what we'll do we know that two cannot be further divided by 11 because it is less than 11 so now we will be calling the next number now we will be calling the next number so now it is 25 now again we know that 25 can be divided by 11 by 2 so again we write two here and we do 25 Minus twenty-two, because eleven twenty-two uh, uh, is the factor of eleven. So again, now it remains three here. So now we came here to know that till this point, till this point, our remainder is three. That means that till the end of this number, we have reached that our remainder will be three. So this is how we will be approaching to our code. That how we have to find the remainder. So first, we will take a single number. If that number is less than eleven, then we will move to. Uh, we will then we will take next number. So now total number became thirteen. Then we know that thirteen. Uh, uh, there is a factor that is less than thirteen. Uh, that is a factor of eleven. So we write here one. Then eleven comes here. Then two remains as remainder. So again two is less than eleven. So it cannot be further divided. So again we take the next number. That is two four twenty four. So now it becomes twenty four. Twenty two is the remain uh, is the factor of eleven. So Uh, twenty-four minus twenty-two. Then it uh, the remainder remains two. Then we take five again with it. So twenty-five again. Twenty-two is less than twenty-five. So we are taking eleven to the twenty-two. So here again remainder remains three. So till the end of this number, we have got our final remainder. And you can see that at every point, at every point when we were, uh, when you can say when we were traversing through these numbers, at every point we got a remainder. So here two got remainder again two got remainder again three was a remainder and in the starting one was also a remainder because one was a single digit and we were dividing it by eleven so one was also a remainder there so you can see that till every point of the string we are calculating the remainders and we are taking once we have calculated the remainder then we are taking the next number together and then we are again calculating the remainders so I hope now this is a basic division that was uh, that should be clear to you while writing the code so I hope now the approach is clear to you or I i say the method that how we will be approaching this question is clear to you we will be taking numbers one by one and then doing the modulus by 11 and in the end when the string is over then our three will be as remainder that will be given to us so guys i hope this approach is clear to you now we'll move into the coding part that how we'll be coding it okay so guys in this approach you can see that we were taking two two numbers together and then uh, and then dividing by 11 Uh, so first of all what we were doing we were taking two numbers together we were dividing it by 11 so the remainder that was remaining that remainder we were adding to next number so you can see that if our remainder was 2 so and we were calling the next uh, next number so it became 25 so total it was becoming 25 not 2 and 5 different different or not 2 plus 7 they were becoming 25 so this you have to uh, keep in mind that once we have taken the remainder that remainder must be multiplied with 10 and then added the next number so 2 into 10 plus 5 so this is how we are adding the next number that is remainder into 10 plus the next number that is 5 so i hope this particular approach is clear to you and after that we were what we were simply doing to calculate the remainder after that the uh, thing that we have got Uh, let's suppose it was x. So then we were doing x mod 11 to get the next remainder. So here you can see 24. Next was 22. So we were basically doing a 24 mod 11s, and we were got getting next modulus. That is 2 here. And again, again the same steps were getting followed. Okay. So what we will we will doing? We have uh, we will be given a helper function in which string will be coming as an input. Okay. So what we were uh, first what we'll do? We will take a value int remainder. And we will initialize with zero because initially our remainder is zero. Now what we will be doing since since and uh, this string is in the form of uh, you can say every character inside this string is a number. So for every character while performing the operation, we will first have to convert that character into a number. So I am writing the code side by side so that you can understand it better. So first of all we have taken the remainder as zero. Now what we are doing we will be iterating over our string. So first of all int i is equal to zero i less than str dot length. I'm sorry, str dot length, and then we're doing i plus plus. Now, again, I have told you to keep in mind that what we were doing, we were simply taking the remainder, multiplying it by bit by ten, and then adding the next number, and then adding the next number. 
so let's just suppose let's just suppose uh we are uh, so first of all what we'll do so let's just suppose our uh, current number is 22 oh sorry current number is 24 so what will be a remainder remainder will be 2 so we will be doing 2 into 10 plus next number that is 5 so how will do it so next number will be uh, int uh, number int number is equal to this is the total number that will be forming like here you can see that here 25 is forming so this is the total number that will be for forming so what will you doing we will be taking a remainder we will be doing it into 10 plus the next number that is the current number str of i minus 0 so this is how we are taking the number so let's just suppose our str of i is 2 so it will be in the form of so let's just suppose uh, here our str of i is equal to 2 it will be in the form of character which was the string uh, the, uh, the input was a string so we will have to convert this character into number so that we can add it into our uh, into our number variable so what we are doing we are simply doing 2 minus this this thing we are doing so that we get a number 2 so i hope this thing is clear to you now we have calculated the number it is number is equal to remainder to 10 plus str of i minus 0 then what we are doing once we have got the number once we have got 25 so once we have got 25 now we have to find the next remainder so 25 simply we can do 25 mod 11 to get the next remainder and then the steps will also follow so first i will write in the code and then i will be dry running this code on your approach so now new remainder will become num mod 11 so after this loop is over we will simply return we will simply return our remainder so let's just test it on our custom input uh, so let's just give it a string as uh, 121 so it answer should be zero <coughs> sorry so answer should be zero and then 1345 and then again answer should be uh, three i guess so let's just see if uh, it any errors are coming or not so here it is zero so let's just change this to 1345 so in this case answer should be three and now if it runs correct i will be dry running the entire approach for you so do not uh, just, just switch off this video because this video is not over yet i will be dry running this entire code for a sample test case that will be 1345 only so what we are doing we are given 1 3 4 5 in the form of string indexes are 0 1 2 3 so now let's just see what we have i have written in the for loop so first of all what we are taking uh, we are calculating the number that we have to divide so number is equal to remainder into 10 plus str of i minus 0 so remainder we have started with 0 so our remainder initially is 0 now what we are doing we are calculating the num so int num is equal to remainder into 10 remainder into 10 that is uh, current remainder is 0 so that is 0 into 10 plus of str of i str of i minus 0 so our current i will be starting from here so it will be uh, 1 so 1 minus 0 will again become 1 so here it is 1 so our now number has become 1 so our num has become 1 now next step was to calculate the new remainder remainder equal to num mod 11 so uh, remainder is equal to num mod 11 num was 1 as you can see above and 1 mod 11 is 1 so now our remainder after the first iteration has been updated to 1 so here it will be 1 here so now again we will be calculating the next number how we will calculate remainder into 10 plus the current number remainder into 10 that is 1 into 10 is 10 plus 3 sorry plus 3 it becomes 13 now what we will doing we will be again calculate the remainder remainder is 13 that is the num mod 11 that will become as 2 now our new remainder has become 2 here so here 2 has become okay so again for the next iteration what will be going remainder into 10 plus 4 that is 24 again we will be doing 24 mod 11 so it will become 2 so again our remainder remains 2 only and now we'll move to the next iteration that is the final iteration for 5 so again remainder is 2 so 20 plus 5 it becomes 25 now again remainder is 25 mod 11 that is 3 and after this loop is over because all the uh, characters have been uh, iterated and once the loop is over we are in the end returning remainder and you can see here what is the value of remainder it is 
three only. So if we are returning this three value, so this code will run perfectly fine and it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. So guys, I hope you liked the video and you have understood the concept. It was very simple. We were just using a basic mathematics to do this particular question. So guys, please subscribe this channel and please share it among your friends. And guys, do uh, write in the comment section if you want more such videos. So guys, thank you for watching this video.